The seat's about to get a little uncomfortable. Okay, yes, I gotcha. I gotcha. Our next angler. He is an elite series rookie, but what a rookie season he is having. He is our current leader in Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year race. He is already a Bassmaster Elite Series champion, trying to double down in his rookie season. From Arkansas, the Cowboy, Joey C. Fuentes. Boom, shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. Oh boy, Taco, not a very comfortable chair anymore, it doesn't look. 67 pounds, 11 ounces. He's looking for 22 pounds and an ounce to take the lead. 23 pounds, 13 ounces. 23, 13. And with that, the cowboy Joey Cifuentes is one angler away from becoming a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Takumi left in a hurry. We're gonna weigh that one for being supposed big bass, five pounds even. <laughs> Let's hear it for Takumi Ito, ladies and gentlemen. Ninety-one pounds, eight ounces. Ninety-one eight, I believe that is the biggest winning weight we've ever had here on Lake St. Clair. Five pounds an announcer in a two-way tie. For Phoenix Boats Big Bass, you are leading this tournament. You're leading Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, and you're never getting a Christmas card from Takumi Ito ever again. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for the poor little guy, you know. Uh, but, uh, but hey, you know, I had a great day today, and um, he, he, he did good, too. I mean, man, this, was, this place is awesome. Have fun. I uh, can't wait to get over there and sit down in that seat and see what happens. <laughs> to be in this position... Man, your rookie season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, obviously, you know, you've, you've competed in a lot of tournaments, but this is your first season here. To be in contention for Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, if you had taken that deal at the beginning, you'd be like, I I'm all about that. But you've already won one title, and you literally are one angler away from doubling down in your rookie season 2023. Man, that's unreal. Uh, just to just to be here and have that opportunity, man. It's it's great. You know, I've been fishing good this year. Like I said, the Lord's blessed me, and um, I just I couldn't be more thankful. It's just everything's going right. I have a lot of confidence in my fishing this year, starting out on the Elite Series, and uh, man, you know, just putting things together. Everything is going right, but it maybe didn't start right this morning. For those of you that didn't see it, this is a good lesson that. Things can start bad and get better. Everyone's left their plug out of their boat or maybe left their motor toter on. And we had all these people here cheering for you to leave. You had been here for like an hour and a half just tied up doing interviews. <laughs> and it was at that moment you realized you still had your motor toter on. So it definitely got better since then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually did that at Seminole, too. I didn't do it, like, right there when we were taking off on day four. But um, so I don't know. Maybe it's good luck. But I... I you know, all the stuff and the head and everything going on, I was, I just totally forgot to take it off. And uh, my idle, uh, or use my trolling motor move over, totally forgot to take my, my motor towed off. It's hilarious. They're calling me out and I can't go anywhere. <laughs> my motor's not trimming down. So, you know, it is what it is, but you know, it's good. It's good humor. <laughs> the luck turned around though. Literally, you had a fish today. And I believe it was one of the fish you just weighed that literally jumped in your boat. Yeah, it was absolutely insane. I, you know, yesterday I said it, I was like, man, I just wish, like I was f fighting a fish and it jumped by the boat. And I was like, man, I just wish you'd jump in the boat. And today, that fish came up and jumped right in the boat. Guys were there, got pictures of it and video, you know, it was on video. It was, it was really cool. It was in a, uh, something I'll never forget in my whole life. I don't know that it'll probably ever happen again. And stuff like that doesn't happen much, but it was, it was awesome. Key baits, how'd you catch them this week? Yeah, I caught everything 100% uh, on a Berkeley Maxent flatworm, 3.6 inch. It's um, I, I use that thing all over the country. It's brown back is the color. It's got like a brown back and a white belly. Uh, kind of mimics shad. 
or, or whatever they feed on here. So it's just a, it's just an awesome that Max scent, you know, on there. It, I don't know. I, I could take that thing anywhere where smallmouth live and catch big fish on it. So, um, but yeah, I did that though on a drop shot. Had a number two drop shot on there. A Berkeley Fusion 19, uh, super sharp hook. You know, didn't hard. I lose. I lost a few fish, but sometimes the smallmouth just bite it funny. But but that hook is really good. And I had a quarter ounce drop shot weight on that thing, you know, maybe about two foot leader, kept it high. I was fishing some, some grass that came up pretty high off the bottom. So I wanted to keep it above that and keep it clean. And man, that, that's the only thing I threw. And I was using my live scope and just looking for them. Um, I was in an area where there just wasn't a lot of fish, but there was a good quality. And so that was the thing, man. I just, I was like a hound dog, man. I was hunting out there trying to find one. And when I found them, they would bite. So it was good. It's an incredible tournament, whatever way it shakes out. Load our Yeti hot seat. Let's hear it for the Cowboy Joyce of Fuentes. And let's get our last angler leading this, heading this way. He is your day three leader. Eight Bassmaster top tens. He is a four time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He is a Bassmaster Elite Series champion. A calm, cool cat from Colgate, Oklahoma, Luke Palmer. Joey, come on over. Side by side, we're going to have a two-time champion, whatever way this shakes out. Started the day with 68 pounds, 7 ounces. Looking for 23 pounds, 2 ounces. 21 pounds, 15 ounces! The Cowboy conquers Lake St. Clair and doubles down in 2023. He's an Elite Series rookie, but a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm crying, guys. Um, man, it's it, unbelievable. You know, today, I had the day you needed to win a tournament and um, it happened. Uh, I got to say, you know, number one, all the glory goes to God, 100%. Um, number one, keep that number one in your life. Uh, my family, they couldn't make it to this thing. Uh, you know, they're back at the house. They're going to go to Champlain and, and, uh, and St. Lawrence, but, but I love them. They, they're my biggest support, you know, obviously my wife, my kids. Um, I've got a little bit of a surprise for my parents. They're watching right now. My wife is pregnant. Uh, so... We're going to have another baby. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, nobody knows about that, really. Uh, so <laughs> I, I think a lot of people just found out. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and tell everybody. I told my wife if I won this thing that I was going to tell my parents. They didn't know. So I wanted to tell them, them and the whole world. So, But, uh, no, it's a blessing. Um, I really appreciate it, man. This is unbelievable, the fans that came out today. I cannot believe I have just won another tournament in the same year, Dave. <laughs> You are leading Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. You're a two-time Elite Series champion. Are you ready to make it official? 100%. And I listen, this thing's heavy, and I know how heavy it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring out Preston Kendrick from Avco to do the handoff. The Avco Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair belongs to the Cowboy Joey Cifuentes. A two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. His rookie season and Joey Cifuentes doubles down on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Joey, you got to tell me one of the most amazing things that happened here. Of course, the victory. Of course, the announcement of your, your, your pregnancy, no, your wife's. Yeah. But, dude, what you did here, so rare. We had a tournament that was so bizarre and different with the amount of boats that had great finishes in Anchor Bay. You literally bucked the trend that everybody was doing and you were all by yourself. How hard was it to avoid the temptation of joining the pack or was this the plan from the very beginning? Yeah, I mean, it was a little tempting because there was some really good quality fish right here in Anchor Bay. But um, no, I, I knew it was, the thing I know about this place and I've been here is the boat traffic. 
and that is so bad out there in Anchor Bay that you cannot effectively live scope. So I put it out, man. I was all in on the spot that I found out there in Canada. I knew it was going to be, you know, if the wind got bad like it did yesterday, you know, it was going to be a little tough. But if the weather stayed good, like I had a chance to win the tournament. So, um, no, man, that's I was all in on that thing, and, and it, it worked out. <laughs> it worked out incredibly. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, yeah, uh, Berkeley, obviously, man. They, they got some great baits. They're awesome. Uh, I was on my trolling motor all day today, and my batteries, Miller Tech, man, those guys make awesome batteries, and I never picked up the trolling motor until I had to leave, and they just worked flawlessly all week. Um, all my, all my uh, man, I got so many people I should thank. Globe Life uh, Insurance back home, Life Insurance, they, they, they've been helping me out a lot this year, and, um, man, there's, there's so many people I'm forgetting. But, but just all, all the people that support me, I, I, I love you guys so much, and I hope I do a good job to represent you and uh, look forward to the future working with everybody. So thanks, guys. What a season. What an angler. One more time, let's hold it high. Your 2023 AVCO Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair belongs to the Cowboy Joey Cifuentes. The Cowboy doubles down in 2023. Not only an Elite Series rookie, but he's a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion.